V, do you have a moment? Need to talk? I mean no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. Got a problem you're calling me? I thought you rejoined the family. Well, I... Yes, I did. But I thought... I suppose that means you're not willing to come, am I right? On my way. Phew, thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. Stay here in camp. V, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. you Got think? no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Being unusually quiet. What's up? I see no point in arguing with Saul. We can't win. So, given up? Of course not. We'll take the Basilisk ourselves, then wait for Saul to admit we were right. Either that, or to boot us out of the family. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection! Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull, Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do, yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope, different that. Rescue mission, someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick him. 
If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. And you plan to grab the Basilisk cow? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to solve. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. None of that sad It's all too easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. Mm -hmm. a few years back? Nobody would have given corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. How are you? You know how it is? Precisely. We are all cooped up together. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Oh, I'm effing awesome, I be chiefing with the rosters Yeah, I put the sauce to your noodle, making pasta Live fast, give a rat fast, crash the bomber Walk a nightmare, right here, I'm a monster You ain't seen the half, no, you can't hold a quarter Pounds in the drawer Let's go Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. The Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? All is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. So you don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning, of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah, quick adjustment on my part too. Though, uh, never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend, Jackie by name. You would have liked him actually. Jackie, I remember that.
Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how, exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. door. Be right there. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Carol! What are we looking for? Punch cards! What cards? Sure thing. Nothing here. Not here. Not here. Nothing here. something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V, the card in the reader? Here goes nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. V, 
Vi, I wanted to speak with you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means... Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. No time like the present. Okay. Go ahead. That was a joke. Listen, V. I believe I know where this is going. And not to your liking? No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. Sounds like a plan. What went wrong? It seems you saw right through me. Didn't have a clue how you'd react. You're not the only one shooting in the dark. I would not want to cock this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Ah! Shit! Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Still Get your ass down a minute, honey. Three. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? Quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another once over. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? 
Salt dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. We're gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Growing kind of cold out here. Not true, but this is nice. Catch some shit eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's some major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, B.
Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. Lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh... Meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Yeah. Name was Jackie. Uh-huh. 
How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Okay, I'll help. Come on, then. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Yeah, and? We're going for a drive. Uh-huh. And where? I can tell you're a city boy. You want to know everything. Now. Yesterday. A little patience, V. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Used to be scorpions, that rake. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions, you hop in the other. Why don't we just take one? Because we need two. Shit. You're about as useful as a data term helpline. You'll see, V. Trust me. Seriously, where are we going? One of Scorpion's favorite spots. I owe him one, V. All right, let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. Mitch, you hear me? Yep. But more driving, less talking. Ah, sun on my face, wind in my hair. Perfect. Oh, hey. I haven't seen you in a while. Not a fan of funerals. <laughs> yeah. You and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip, or for you to slot it in your head. I hope this place is too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. My, what a good little boy scout. So trusting, so accommodating. It's a scorpion. His last wish or something. Is that good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. Bridge. Other side of that hill. Copy. Almost there now. Okay, copy. Holy shit, Mitch! What the hell? Relax, V. It's what Scorpion wanted. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? No, he wanted me to take him here. And send him off with a bang. We set him up behind the wheel, douse the car, then light it, let him fly off the edge. I mean, if that's what Scorpion wanted... He did. Said it a million times if he said it at all. Grab me that can, will you? Here you go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. Uh, I see the driver is already behind the wheel. No point wasting time. Another hour or two, and he'll puff up like a balloon. Right. Shall we get this show on the road? Are you absolutely sure this is a good idea? No, V. No, I am not. But it was my best friend's dying wish. So I'll do whatever the fuck I can to make it happen. With or without you. Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car.
She's burning! Quick, before she blows! May the road be kind to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Soot and ash. That much remains. So, how about a beer? Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. Ah, nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Hey, speaking of, where'd that nickname come from? Scorpion. Funny. You know, I haven't the slightest idea. Never asked him. Uh, he is Scorpio or something? <laughs> Maybe he had a big stinger. <laughs> ah, Scorpion, you old bastard. I'm gonna miss you, man. Mitch, why me? Why'd you ask me to help? Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh... I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your paths crossed. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen, there's a... A few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. Go on. It's yours. What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him. No idea why. Listen. I'm gonna sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll, uh, I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, uh, thanks, V, for today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right. God. For you, bro? Best the Night City has to offer. And that would be... The most no-respect, geeked out, turned up virtue you ever seen. Man, I'm talking like transcendental. Where's it from? You got a license for exclusive distribution in Night City? Come on, man. Ain't nobody bothered with that shit. Know why? Because the stuff I got's way too legit to be legit. Feel me? What's on the virtue? Real feeling, neuron shredding, high octane, transsensational, adrenaline pumping shit, yo. And your mind will blow us low, bruh. You gotta trust me on this. All right, you got my attention. Yeah, <laughs> knew you couldn't resist. Virtue's all yours. Couple more eddies, you can use my plate. No need, I've got my own wreath. Of course you do. It's probably top shelf, latest firmware too, right? You see, this virtue is approaching vintage gray. I doubt you'll be able to run it. I'll try running on my own first. If that doesn't work, I'll be back. Hey, ain't no problem. You know where to find me. File format. Great. <laughs> You're right. The tech doesn't read it for some reason. Told you so. Backwards compatibility is a bitch, ain't it? So we tried out my ring. I promise you it'll fire on every damn cylinder. 
course it'll cost you a little extra. This virtue better be worth all this trouble. Chill, homie, chill. Satisfaction of your money back guaranteed, all right? Now come on. Go where exactly? To my rig, yo. Where else? Not like I carry that shit on me. Hey, this is my rig. Take all the time you need. Just like me, isn't it? Getting trapped in the brain of Night City's dumbest merc. Uh, what? What happened? Look around and connect the dots. Oh, scabs. Shit! I can't believe I got conned. So your brain isn't completely fried to a crisp. That's good. Time to wake up, because you're about to be breakfast. for firing.
could have asked if he had any used hypos for sale, too. What could go wrong? Not now, Johnny. Are you happy with the autonomous shooting function? Please jump to confirm. Well, well. Looks like fortune favors the stupid, too. Now what? I'm gonna ask for a refund. I'd like a refund. <laughs> hey, holy shit, you! You good? After you booted up that virtue, you started glitching out and... Save your breath. You conned me. You knew what you were doing. You wanna know what I do, though? Mm -hmm. Now hold up, yo. Let's all be chill for a second. You wish. You've got one hour to get out of Night City and never look back. Oh, oh, my sweet fucking Jesus! Thank you! I knew you could- Shut the fuck up! I wasn't finished. If I ever see your face again, I'll gut you and string you up by your insides. Understand? Now start walking. Help! Police! Need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if you can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. Be tough getting a word into her. Maman Brigitte. And that sounds like a spooky cult alias. Have not had the pleasure of asking her personally. But it is what everybody calls her. Doubt the title has any real religious weight, though. Voodoo boys play pretty fast and loose with their Haitian heritage. Huh. I was led to believe you could arrange anything. Ah! Now that sounded like my third wife every time she wanted a new purse. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos. Won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. Right. I'll wait.
glad you're here. I need your oh, help cooking. Hey. What's on Hi. the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Um, soy meat. Okay. Dunno. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. This an ancient ward family secret? Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. <laughs> I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. Honestly, I thought you were kidding about the cook-off. Where the Joss had sweat away in the kitchen while... How? Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. How's, uh, Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And, uh, mentally? That was some experience. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean break for him. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask, what about Peter Pan? Still stirring? We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I, uh... You know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares How about- How you doing, Joss? I'll call you back later. Maddie, nice. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. Grab a chair, and a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah, seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. You flatline him? I wasn't sure that was what I really wanted. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River? How my parents died. Now, I'm sure you want to hear this. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. Mostly, I remember my mom crying. 
When my dad swore they'd found all we had. One was gazed out of his mind. He fired first. Blew half my dad's skull off. Jesus, River. I'm sorry. He was erratic. One rabbit handed me his gun and ordered me to aim it at my mom's head. I can still see her tear-filled eyes at the end of that barrel to this day. What did you do? Nothing. I stood frozen. Finally, he just snatched the gun back. Shot my mother and they left. Police never caught him. That was why I joined the force. I couldn't agree with scum like that roaming free. No one to hunt him. Was just there too? Saw all this? Mm -hmm. I think when she looks at me, she still sees that boy holding a gun to her mom's head. Can't tell you how sorry I am. So when I stood over Harris in that hospital bed, barrel to his brow, I was that kid again. But I was also the junkie who shot my parents. Didn't kill him then. I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But what now? You're not going back to the PD. P.I. has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle River, we'll you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. V, join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. Think? Could be fun. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face El Chamuco and Diablado. Oh, he's the worst. But I know we can beat him. The city's most evilest mastermind ever. All right, let's get to it. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco and Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids. But we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Hey V, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's cruise! He's hit! He's hit! Take that! 
Next round, next round! This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. Mm. Quiet. Too quiet. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! Not oh, you got <laughs> no, I have Watch pirate. this! Ready. So, was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butt! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too. Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Grew up in Haywood. Whole street was my family. Neighbors helped each other out. Thought nothing of it. Nothing's more important to me than my kids. I've made mistakes. Life's gone off the rails sometimes. But I had my kids. I got my kids. Speaking of, it'd be great if Randy was here. Won't be long. Randy loves Jambalaya. Joss, you see me being a parent ever? I mean, I don't exactly look like good palm material myself, so... Yes! Who says yes? I do. <laughs> he raised his hand himself! 
V, are you seeing someone? Involved? Fess up, please. Um, well, that's decided. Got an 11.99. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew. Situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. You're just getting out of doing the dishes. Admit it. Also true. Which gives us two reasons to go. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? Having a drink? Shooting the shit. This way I... Oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah, okay, good. Just push. Ugh. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Apparently the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Out here you can't smell the shit the corpse dump on the streets. Like the city's their own personal toilet. Shit, flush, repeat. Hmm. Poetic. Couldn't have said it better. Got something for you. Wow. What's the occasion? Aiming to close a door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. Now for the highlight of the evening. Up for a drink? Something strong is sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. To friendship. To friendship. Got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. <laughs> we'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. Now, where 
Where did I put that? in the moon and there's still no cure for hangovers well at least we had fun yesterday yeah um, but now I gotta roll promised Joss I'd take her to see Randy no rush either get your sea legs back take as much time as you need sure you're good to drive <laughs> please former NCPD <clears throat> I'm a pro on Hangover Highway. I'll be fine. Apologize to Joss for me. We kinda dined and dashed yesterday. And left puke all over the bathroom? Aw, oh, shit. Tell Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V. Hi there, V. No complications with Kang Tao. So far, so good. They sent another patrol around the station. But they're dead set that v. it was Raff and that down the AV and attacked Helmut's guards. Call and you make Station's sweet proprietor's love to sticking to that version. Got so something for me? Now. Well, it's like I said. Whatever you're peddling, the VTBS are just not in the market. But they have another task that needs doing. So I volunteered you. Do it well, and you'll get your audience with Brigitte. What's this task needs doing? What? You gonna go picky on me now? The contact will fill you in on the deets. I got zero from him. Actually, got the impression I'd have to pay for every word out of his mouth. Okay, so who do I talk to and how? Hit the chapel on Sloan. Look for the altar inside. Someone will touch you, nod to you. Something spooky. Got it. Thanks. Well, what's up, V? How's it going with Rogue? It's going. Knock on wood. So, things are settled? For now, we're good at avoiding each other. And that's fine with me. You are V? We have been waiting. Who gave me away? the hair, isn't it? We have had eyes on you since you entered Pacifica. Make sure I didn't get lost. Where well, are we Could meet somewhere else? I'm not big on funerals. Do not be frightened, Mr. This funeral is not for you. In my contact? So we're finally gonna tell me about this job? I'm just the man in the middle. You will learn more. Soon. You died. Got something to do with the job? You think we put together this funeral special for you? Hmm. You screening me? See if I came alone. What kind of chrome I got? Is some kind of test? Most people we work with we knew as babies. We know their angels. You, we do not know. Interesting biz strategy you got in Pacific. No details, no names, no one knows a thing. Your name we know. That is enough. Want to talk with Brigitte? She here somewhere? No. Shopping center by the intersection. Go to the butcher shop there. Ask for Placid. He will tell you the details. Well, my Creole's a bit rusty. Shit luck, right? All those and 
I don't know yours. Chrome translation, ou pas maton. You actually sell meat out of here? Really? Ou actuellement vous achetez quelque? Qui ça la fait là? La PC est une intelligente, il semble. Looking for Placide. Placide. Gardez ici là. Do do ti 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 maman. Do do ti ti ti. C'est vous même, continuez. Placide, gardez là. Do crabe la va manger. Can you proceed? Proceed. I thought selling domesticated fowl was still illegal. Six years, poultry supposedly had the plague. Now all of a sudden, poof, it's clean? This not for sale. What you want? You know, I heard a few things about you. Mm. The voodoo boys. Best runners in town. At least that's what they say. Though nobody really knows what you do on the net. This is good. I mean, bleeding edge black soft. Corporate data heists, waging war on Netwatch, but no one mentions chickens. I want to talk to Brigitte. But they send you to me. And you'll tell me more about the job. Yes, but not here. Follow me. We headed. Pacifica, a hotbed of controversy, a city within a city. Do not dare you. This way. Do not villa. Do not Pacifica. All that. Welcome to Pacifica. You know Pacifica well. Nah, you guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. Was to be its own city where suits were burned their eddies. They close certain. The cops feed the sheep, they spit the cash back out. All the toys here are grown from purple cash. Our interest is now in the GIM, the Grand Imperial Mall. Pacifica's biggest, ugliest temple to build, but never finished. Until last week, it was deserted, empty. But now? The animals crawled there, made a nest. Hey, Placid, we can start with the pilot. OK, my pal Vinnie Peter. <laughs> Let's go, not far now. You deal with animal before? Yeah, a few times. You want the animals out of the gym? Extinct? That way you hired me? You learn everything soon. I'm 
mean, it makes no sense them being here. Middle of Pacifica, no backup, cut off. It's your turf. Hell, even badges don't patrol around here. Uh huh. They're trying to provoke you? Make you do something stupid? They do not leave Jiaim. How many we talking about in there? Daddy, maybe more. Vinina, we talk here. You sit. When do I see Brigitte? You do job. That is fast. Whoa, what the hell are you doing? Well, at least he's not likely to talk your ears bloody. Evelyn Parker. Ring a bell? Not one of us. She did work for you once. Got a feeling we're not gonna become best friends. No chemistry. I will survive. Why not send your own goons to the gym? This not our way. How's that been working out for you? Work good. Good more than bad. Your calm shaman, it is Victor. You two know each other? No, no need. This hardware is shit. You should replace. Oh, so now you're a ripper, Doc, too. Is that at all relevant, or just a cheap scare tactic? I need you to be able. I need no. This chip, it have no signature. What is it? Besides that, everything's okay? No net problem. Cortex spikes, other trash. Any of that a deal breaker? I ask you about the chip. Chip's why I'm here. Why I want a word with Brigitte. Doesn't look at all familiar. It should. Why? I see only it is damaged. Got a bullet to the brain. Hasn't worked since. That's how. Hmm. You know, you haven't asked about my experience. What I can do. We are not cop. Do not offer career. You do for us only one simple thing. Once inside, what do I do? The camionet. Twenty, thirty-five, zero seven. Three seconds before, poof. We try to learn where the camionet come from. You record all this on your own? Mm-hmm. Local cam signals, cop sats, we capture to all. But from inside the gym, squat, right? Van's definitely a custom job. I see you not know also. Hey, just trying to piece the facts together. Tech looks pretty advanced. Doesn't scream meathead to me. They watch it very close. It is important, whatever I did. Batman Kelly have this and i Femme Portler. Time for a break? I think you might be needed. They will manage fine. You focus. Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle. Someone else needed them. Someone with a van full of Netrunner tech. And that's where I come in? To sniff out who? Mm -hmm. Start with the communion. Hide from all eyes. Only see the city as you. You have now seen with the Rizzo Agwe. Why? What for? You are, you are my vessel, vessel now. now. To Agua, I see, see what, what you, you see. see. Hear what, what you hear. I will, I will guide, guide you to Jiaim. Another voice in your head. Just what the Ripper Doc ordered. We know who the runner inside is? What he wants? This I hope you tell me. So, aim to keep an eye on me. <laughs> Shows trust. All right. Anything else I should know? Find our people near Mall. They will show you how to get inside the beast. My pay. How much we talking, and how am I gonna collect? And say you not in this for cash. You in this for problem. Do GIM for us. Brigitte can solve it. Uh-huh. Except then I found out you need me to be a bullet trap on enemy turf. That means my fee's just gone up. Mm, we will see. No promise. Got it. So I do this, and you put me in front of Brigitte, right? Yes. 
Suti at the end of the hall. Go down, my people will let you pass. We are done. None too fond of strangers here, are you? People like you. Stick out. Meaning, I best watch it? Mm-hmm. Wise. Did you even know we're supposed to meet? Or did you cook this deal up all by yourself? You speak with Chef in when time is right. So, voodoo boys. Why? Don't seem to believe in voodoo. Don't know. Ask those who call us this. You mean to say you call yourself something else? And you ain't gonna tell me, are you? <laughs> right. Him? This is our turf, our home. We need not to be ghosts here. It is you. Must be ghosts. Be silent. Invisible. Know the way in? Who's told you would? Yeah. Garage in the back. But shh. Quietly, yeah? Anything interesting happen over there? Since we are here, all quiet. No one in? No one out? Well, they went out for supplies once. Always fucking Better watch it before shit gets real ugly. Wait, who is that? Who you think? The runner, we won't try to invade you. With the extra ice we give you, it is fine for now. So, he knows I'm here.
from you. Of Pacifica, they hunt Agwe. Who is they? Netwatch. They always are to focus. How bad does it look? I do not know how much data they pull, but their map is no complete. They still not have source validation. What are they looking for exactly? Internal data forts. If they crush our eyes, they take Agwe and the entire net. He returned to the dark time of Bart Moss. You probably got, what, web crawlers, code mirrors? We do. They also want them. Okay, so what's on me to do? You must reach the agent. Easy now to find him. Look at the map. He is in cinema. Step away now. This isn't your fight. Matt! What? Placid, what? They're caught. Pushed out. The runner know you are here. Hunt him. Just scorch him via the net. He's got to be jacked into the van. I cannot piece his protection. You must find him. Face him. Okay, so what do I do once I find him? I will tell you. The Asian man tries to cut you off. The animals be here soon. Pass to elevator shaft to reach the lobby. Left side. You will stay unseen.
Eyes open now. What's going on? You have company soon. Scan her right away. Not bad, huh? She must have a weak spot. She's had enough. 